So, just before Christmas Day, I think. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of days before. I haven't been out. This is my first time out. If you didn't know, I had a problem with my Neo 2. I had a software issue. A, a number come up. I contacted DJI support. I haven't got that care fresh thing, but because it's still under 30 days warranty, um, sent it, it didn't cost me nothing. Sent it back. Um, what they have done, which saved me a job, they've disconnected the digital uh, transceiver um, because I had a problem trying to get those screws off. Anyway, I thought in this video, I'll just do it without the digital transceiver and just see what you can do. And uh, another thing they did send me, which is interesting, they sent me a new gimbal cover <laughs> because I was having problems with that. And to be honest, even looking at this one, I don't know if the camera can catch. Anyway, it seems to go on all right to me. It's still, you know, I'll just put it back on then. Maybe, maybe there was an issue with the other one. I mean, they sent the other one back as well for some, they haven't said enough. As always a DJI, they repair it. Um, they don't give you a lot of information, but yeah, new gimbal cover. So maybe if you've got problems guys, maybe we're just contacting DJI and just saying your gimbal cover is not fitted properly. Because that, like always, when they um, bring out new drones, sometimes some of the batch, because they don't check every drone that comes through. Maybe there was an issue with the cover, I don't know. But now it seems to go on pretty easy now. So that's a bonus, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just going to use the drone as it is. So I'm just going to set it up by turning it on, obviously, and uh, let's see what happens. I've turned on the drone. I'm not using nothing. I haven't even got my phone. I just want to see what I can do. If I just bought this drone as itself, because it's a good, I think it's a good price. I've seen some people say, oh, it was a little bit expensive. Guys, there's so much technology in this. You know, it, and this is not a toy drone, guys. This is a, what I class as a proper drone. Anyway, it's all done there. So we see if we can do anything with it. Four meters. Okay, so it's going to do the circle. It'd be interesting because I'm quite near the car there. And it's going to keep it at four meters. It's going to be interesting. It's coming around the back. You can't see it, but it's coming around the back now. And it's just gone over. The t okay. So it should have finished. If I stick my hand out. It should come back. Now I think that is pretty amazing what you can do with something like that. Follow. Let's do the follow. Rear. Follow. Three, two, one. So it's going to do a follow from the rear. This is my rear. Now, what I've done today, as always, when you go out, guys, I've got a, a, a weather chart that I check. It did say good to fly, but at the moment, we seem to get these whispers of wind. And somebody is saying it's not, it doesn't fly very well in the wind. I don't know if that, how true is that. I've been out when it's been a little bit windy. I would say it's very similar to the Fata 2 and the Neo, to be honest. It's not, if it is windy, guys, I wouldn't fly this drone anyway, but some people like putting it to the test. Okay, what I love about this is I can stick my hand out and it's come back to me. Okay, so we've done it without no controller. I haven't been doing this for two or three weeks now. So I'm a little bit rusty anyway. Guys, there's some great channels out there that you can watch. I'm just going to put them here. So check them out. That'll give you a lot more information. I do like testing the drones. I'm not into all this. This is what you've got to do. Demos sort of thing. I like to put the drones to the test. 
So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to open up the DJI Fly app on my phone. It should lock in straight away. It's, there it is. We connect it. Okay, you can see already it's the Wi-Fi reconnect. It does that, I notice, sometimes. Sometimes when you first open it up, um, it asks you to rejoin it. I got a good Wi-Fi signal. So there I am. Uh, the voice, the voice muted. It all, I leave this on there anyway. It just gives you a couple of warnings about avoid water. <laughs> I've seen so many videos of this going over the water. Why do you do it, guys? But anyway, because if you do crash it in the water, you're not going to be covered by that amazing Carefresh thing. But anyway. And I'm not even sure would that come under warranty. But if anybody has crashed it in the war and it's got a drone back, let me know, because that'd be interesting. So anyway, it's, it tells you a few things there. Fly in an open area, which I think is pretty obvious. Obviously, well-lit areas. Even though it's got the LiDAR, it's supposed to be really good. So I got it, your first flight. I think that's pretty good. So we're not going to do all that because um, we skip the tutorial to shows you it thinks I'm a new boy which I am I suppose right so we got a couple of things here on the screen which I do love about this drone you can go into so many things I am gonna do another video I do like the dolly zoom on this on the flip hated it but on this, I thought it was really good. Um, you're not going to get me doing a ski, that's for sure. I've got a motorbike coming up now. Let's do master shots. Okay. Three, two, unable to take off. Okay. Aircraft in motion. Okay, let's do it again then. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. Right, so this, don't forget, guys, is in uh, master shots. And what I like about now what DJI's done is Circle split it close. into segments. So it's a bit like doing the... Um, Ascend with level shot. Uh, Camera down and I circle. mean, an another good thing, it's actually telling you on the screen what it's doing. So I'm on my last one. Obviously, don't, you don't Throw seem me. to get, obviously, a lot on the master shots, but then don't forget it's on Wi-Fi. I've got a set of pylons over there. <laughs> I don't want to go on that. But it's got an obstacle avoidance, which I will check Pitch uh, up later on. Forward. Okay, it's coming back in. You coming in? You coming in? Landing. I just love it, how it does that. Taking um, okay, let's do the Helix. I quite like the Helix. Okay. So we're just going to come over here a bit because I'm worried about a car. Three, two, one. Now, the, the wind, you probably notice. Okay, I don't know why it's not doing it. Oh, it's doing it now. It's just obviously setting itself up. Okay, so it's finished that. Okay, come on then. Come on then. Now, if you watch uh, the Roberts. Landing. He ain't got this drone, has he? <laughs> Kev. Oh, I love Kev's channel. He's got a name for every drone, but he ain't got the Neo 2. I don't even think he's got the Neo thinking about it. But he's got. If you follow my... FBV Friday, Kev at long last has bought the Afata 2 and he's called it Kuta. Scooter? No, Kuta. <laughs> Guys, believe me, it's a great channel. Uh, there's a load of great channels out there. Um, there's another channel I'm loving at the moment, the Oxfordshire Man by Andy. Andy, I've got that right. 
As always, hope you enjoyed that. Let's give you another video coming, Ray. Sooner!